Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a mass demonetization going around YouTube on the YouTube ecospheres with uh, everyone getting hit, and primarily the commentary channels, aka people like me. So, hooray for me. Unfortunately, uh, though, since I am such a humble, humble, small channel, I didn't get hit by anything. So, thankfully, I'm safe. But then again, I'm not making big bucks. So, hmm. Yeah, not really a good situation. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, but before we uh, start with the video, but yeah, before we start with the video, I just want to say, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, um, I highly recommend that you do already. Or if, you know, do me a favor, right? Uh, I was looking at my analytics and around 99.4% of you um, are not subscribed. That's like my uh, total viewership, I think. So yeah, uh, hit that subscribe button and maybe hit that notification bell if you're feeling generous. If you're not, Hey, no problem. I know how it is. Everyone's a business these days, right? So, yeah, um, I'm with the show, though. Uh, also, if you haven't checked out my previous video, a Wings of Redemption video, um, basically, to, you know, cut it short, um, Wings is going to sue off his depot, or at least he's going to attempt to sue off his depot over some uh, camera footage that was captured over him that was leaked onto the internet by the troll channels. And he's a little pissed about that. Uh, Wings of Redemption, OG called it a YouTuber. He became fat. Uh, he begged for a surgery. He got it, but he ended up pocketing, like, I, I don't know, like, five, ten grand of the funds from the surgery bought like an iphone 11x max pro whatever the hell you call it whatever nomenclature they use these days he bought a salvage title v6 mustang then he bought a black ecoboost mustang and now he bought a thirty thousand dollar truck so yeah a guy that's not really known for making great financial decisions but yeah that was my that was my previous video i'll leave a uh, link in the description or one of those like uh, end card thingies or like a little uh that little like uh like pop-up card in the top right hand corner or, or wherever the hell they have it these days but yeah um, so, big thing happened on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people were getting demonetized on the platform. Um, and people were going with... Uh, I, I first heard about it on the on the uh, Discord server that I'm on. And a lot of people were getting demonetized. Um, I think uh, I was watching a stream with uh, Nicholas Diorio, I think was the name of the guy that was uh, hosting it. Uh, Mudahar was there. The guy from Some Ordinary Gamers. Uh, Tipster Gaming was there, too. Uh, I think he does uh, Twitch now, primarily now. YouTube is kind of a second focus for him. I think he got demonetized too a couple uh, weeks ago too, but this wasn't related to that incident. But um, so basically, everyone uh, overnight was getting demonetized. They would upload a video and boom, limited or no ads at all, which is a death sentence. When uh, YouTube doesn't uh, monetize your videos, you you get uh, thrown thrown under the bus when it comes to search rankings and stuff of that sort. It's kind of a blacklist, so to say. Uh, your video is not going to perform as well. It's kind of a well-known thing amongst the community, and YouTube denies it. But you know, YouTube denies a lot of things that they don't want to tell the truth about. But yeah. So, a lot of people were getting hit, and especially uh, this one guy I know, well, I don't know him personally, but I remember seeing him, uh, if you guys remember some of my uh, OG subscribers, um, when I was covering the Peluchin Entertainment uh, fiasco, that saga, who is Peluchin Entertainment? Well, he's a little psychotic SOB that likes to uh, torture his cats and animals of that sort, and yeah, really weird guy, really weird guy, obsessed with uh, Jason and Freddy Krueger and furries, I think, plushies, yeah, um, that's all in the past now, but... Uh, around the same time I was uh, covering Peluchin, there was another YouTuber on the platform that was covering him. Now, I'm not talking about uh, Memology 101, although he, shout out to Memology to Memo. Um, there is another YouTuber that, uh, he was kind of around the same size as me back then, uh, although he's doing fantastic right now. He's, I, I think he's at 11,000 subscribers, so congratulations to a Sensitive Society, I think that's how you pronounce his name, on reaching that sub goal. The dude get uploads like crazy. Uh, definitely better work ethic than mine, so he deserves the, uh, the subs and the recognition, right? And he's a commentary channel. Back then, he was also covering the Peluchin Entertainment Saga. So, if anyone knows her Peluchin stuff, it's either me or him. But I think he knows it better than I do. But yeah, uh, Sensitive Society, I'm, I'm going to put up some uh, screenshots right now on the uh, screen, obviously, right? So, here is a tweet from Sensitive Society on uh, July 1st. Wow, it happened. Hey, at Team YouTube, my whole channel just got demonetized out of nowhere. I'm not kicked out from the partner program, and I haven't received any email regarding this. Can you please look into it? 90% of my videos were monetized hours ago. Add sub to Optimus. Help, please. Now, he ended up getting picked up. Uh, his tweet ended up getting picked up by uh, Optimus. Uh, by Optimus. Optimus is another commentator in the community. Uh, you know, he primarily does uh, like uh, the Call of Duty commentary. You know, Call of Duty in the background, and then you do the commentary. Kind of a callback to the OG days of YouTube. That's what I miss, to be frank with you. Back when you could just slap on a... Uh, Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, Black Ops 1, MW2, and just talk about random shit, you know, back when it was all such a new and fresh experience, when the biggest hotshots on the platform had Hapog HD PVRs, and the Roxio HD game capture was a was a barely uh, a, a barely better uh, option than the uh, 
Dazzle DVC 100, and the Easy Caps of Yore. But yeah, enough nostalgia talk for me. So, Sensitive Society, his uh, problem got picked up by other uh, commentators and so forth, not just Optimus. And thankfully, uh, he has been re-monetized. I'm going to put up the next tweet right here. And all right, uh, 22 hours ago, approximately, everything is back to normal. Big thanks to everyone who helped during this. Thank you, guys. That's up to Optimus, at Nicholas Diorio, at uh, Elucidia, at Aid8NN, and DD Solchbatch. I don't know if I said those right, although I probably butchered them if I did. Uh, my condolences. So, yeah, um, Sensitive Society has his channel re-monetized now, I think. Hopefully he does, you know, judging off the tweets and I was on his channel a couple of minutes ago, so, and I did get an ad, and everything is going fine for him, thankfully, and I keep getting Disney Plus ads, so, uh, yeah, maybe I should get Disney Plus, but, yeah, now, this, this is gonna kind of delve into something else I want to talk about, um, you know, a, a lot of people are getting hit by this now, I think this is more of a glitch, uh, within YouTube systems, and some people already got back monetization today, which is a very, very good thing, but some people still haven't gotten their monetization back. For example, we have another YouTuber by the uh, by the handle at Dr. Cringe PhD. I'm going to put it up on screen right about now. And ladies and gentlemen, um, if you haven't noticed, uh, July 4th, Independence Day is only a day away. And people in my area, like many other areas, are getting uh, really excited and uh, blowing their shot early before they should. So uh, pardon me if you hear any fireworks in the background. But yeah, who knows? Maybe with the Civil War coming soon, this will be a great, great practice for you. Uh, so Dr. Cringe PhD here. I'm not sure if that's his YouTube handle, but uh, he uh, he got a retweet from Sensitive here. And uh, as of now, every video on my channel still has limited ads. Hopefully this gets re resolved soon. And uh, I guess he posts uh, like cringe compilations, stuff like that. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really follow this guy. But um, as you can see here, not everyone has been uh, re-monetized for that matter, right? So obviously, uh, I think it's more of a glitch more than uh, everyone getting uh, blacklisted, so to say. And I think uh, H3H3 Productions, Ethan Klein, you know, ooh, the big villain of YouTube right right now. Uh, I think he's actually reached out to Susan Wojcicki, or Wojcicki, whatever the hell her name is, the CEO of YouTube. The, and hopefully maybe Ethan's influence, maybe there's some some little bit, you know, semblance of a good guy left in Ethan that he's trying to help us out as a community. So uh, I, I guess thank you, Ethan, and hopefully he helps us get through this and helps the community go, go through it. This is going to go to something else I want to bring into here. Uh, I, I think YouTube, uh, for a while now, has been uh, selecting the type of creator they want to push and advertise. And... There's been a lot of this shit happening, like uh, established people in the community who practically built uh, YouTube for what it is. And ladies and gentlemen, if you hear a squeaky chair, if that's my chair. Uh, no, I'm not Wings of Redemption. I don't weigh a hundred and uh, I mean, I don't weigh uh, a thousand pounds, so to say, but I just got a squeaky chair. But uh, if you guys remember, there was this girl living out of her van. She kind of blew up out of nowhere. Her first video got over a million views and she was on the Philip DeFranco show. That doesn't sound like an industry plant. I don't know what is. YouTube has been uh, making these people, pushing them, uh, people they want on there. They don't want Keemstars on the platform. They don't want Leafy's on the platform. They don't want iDubs on the platform or Filthy Franks on the platform or, you know, anyone that actually can say some sort of shit that stirs up opinions and stuff of that nature. Uh, no wrong think aloud, right? Nothing of that sort. We want to be family friendly and blah, blah, blah. Give me the advertisers. Now, I'm sorry. You know, uh, I, I thought YouTube Kids was a thing, you know? If, but moving on from that, though, um, a lot of people were freaking out about this, right? And they're like, oh, this is the end of YouTube, blah, blah, blah. This is the end. And every time this happens, every time, I, I, I shit you not, pay attention. Every single big channel that, you know, talks about it, that, uh, that brings up the issue of this, like, I can't believe YouTube is doing this. I can't believe we're all going to be demonetized. None of them ever suggest going to an, an alternative website, right? Or building a competitor of sorts in order to take on YouTube. Now, back in the day, um, I was on a competing website called Vidimi. Uh... Vidimi was a YouTube competitor, I guess you could say, even though they said they weren't, but that's exactly what they were. They got semi-semi-close to emulating YouTube, but uh, eventually they failed because A, the support just wasn't there, and B, they ran out of money, essentially, right? Um, and the ad space wasn't there. I think, I think after like, I think like after a month or two after they announced monetization for everybody, uh, where you can monetize your channel with ads now, and I, I don't remember if I was a part of their program back then. I think I wasn't, though. Um, I, I know some people who were part of the program, they were getting a bunch of, like, uh, weird medical ads, like, from some off-brand, like, Viagra bullshit. I, I don't remember, but regardless, uh, there was a community bouncing there, and I think uh, Tipster Gaming was on there also, but, yeah, they just, it, it, it just never, um, it, it just never got off the ground, essentially. It was kind of dead, you know, but all these big uh, commentators, you know, they're always bitching about the platform being such a, uh, such a shit show, right? It, it being such a terrible place to be. And, you know, I, I'm 
I agree with them on some parts and disagree with them on others, but these are the people that have, you know, millions of subscribers, you know, the people who have, like, the biggest fan bases and stuff, like, you know, maybe, uh, maybe if you're so tired of the platform and, you know, and you're constantly uh, bitching and moaning about it, maybe move on to a different platform, buddy, or, you know, maybe do something else instead of just, like, sticking with the whole shtick of, oh, you too bad, oh, me good. And it always happens, and hell, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a hypocrite myself, I'm kind of guilty of doing it myself. But I think if you're looking for an alternative, though, I, I think bit shoot and, uh... Oh yeah, I, I think bit shoot, that's the only one you got right now. That's the only viable alternative if you want to go there, or DTube, I think. Um, I think I have a DTube, but I kind of forgot what the hell I did with it, but... <laughs> yeah, that's besides the point, um... Like, I, I think, you know, there's a rumor going around right now that Dr. Disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was setting up his own streaming platform with other uh, streamers like Ninja and stuff like that. You see, the streamers have the right idea. They're doing their own shit, their own platform, their own rules, and it's probably going to be a very good platform because they know what they want. They are the streamer. They are the consumer. They know what the consumer wants. And as for our side of the thing, well, we haven't really done much except uh, George Sprovs, who was uh, going over the whole YouTube union thing. If you haven't heard about that, uh, just, you know, type in George Sprobs. It should pop up in the uh, search bar. And he was trying to get, like, a union started for YouTubers, which is... It sounds funny. It sounds uh, laughable, but still. It's better than uh, nothing, you know. Better than what half of these uh, million sub channels are doing. They're not really pushing forward an alternative. Like, I, I guess you could say Twitch is something else you could do, but not really the same thing. But, yeah, uh, kind of went up on a tangent there. But um, back to uh, the demonetization, I think... Um, I don't think this is going to be the last time a lot of channels get hit by demonetization, especially channels that are more um, non-advertiser friendly, non-YouTube friendly. Uh, the, the people YouTube doesn't want to be their face and representatives and the most popular on the platform are going to be hit, guys. It's only it's only natural. They don't want people of that sort of caliber in their platform. They just want to shoo them out. And I think, uh, you know, the makeup, the makeup slash beauty community right now, really, really toxic behavior from their end. And I think that might have had something to do with this. But, uh, it, you know, just with one big fight now, one big, you know, shit show within a community. If you're demonetized right now, I'm sorry, you know, I, I feel for you, but uh, it'll probably get back to you. It'll probably be uh, okay. It'll probably be fine, right? And if you're, uh, if you got back monetization already, then good for you. Awesome. Awesome. Good job. Good job. But just be aware, guys, you know, uh, YouTube as a platform, I think, is going to get more and more uh, strict and strict and strict and more, uh, you know, Big Brother 1984 style, so... It might be time to move on to another platform, and the only way another platform will succeed is if we give that platform support. Without our support, another platform will be nothing. It's just going to end up like another bit of me. All right, everybody, thank you for listening in, and as always, I will catch you guys later. And also, uh, make sure to stay tuned for my newest series, Top 10 Sinful Ninjago Moments. Keep an eye out for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the new uh, intro I have. I might have a new outro. Who knows? Maybe it'll be right now.